Hi there, and welcome to part seven of Upper Edmund College's um, Blender tutorials. We've had a couple of requests from my students about how to um, develop something in Blender's game engine, and that's what today's tutorial is all about. Okay, step one. You'll notice at the very, very top up here, Blender Renderer. If we click in this, we get another option, Blender Game. This basically gives us a couple of extra options around the place. Okay, it gives us a chance to use some of the physics engines built into this lovely little program. Right, I'm grabbing the blue arrow. I'm going to drag my cube above the ground. I'm going to go Shift A and input a plane. Okay, S key. I'm going to make the plane big. What I'm basically doing right now, I'm setting up a couple of um, characters, features of my game. Right. Now, we need to add some physics to this whole window over here. Notice a little bouncing ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my platform, the, the ground here, it says it's static, which is great. I'm going to click actor. I'm not quite sure if I need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. My um, cube. I'm going to select the physics type as rigid body. In other words, this is going to be a rigid object that's going to fall and interact with other things around it. If I press the P key in this window right here, my cursor must be in this window. It will fall to the ground and stay there. That's great. But what happens if I rotate it slightly to the side? Press the R key, I rotated it. I press P for play, and it does, hmm, not quite what I think it should. I think it should fall down and roll to its side. There's a good reason why it's not doing that right now. Sit back over here again, drag it down, collision bounds. I need to tell this object here that when it collides, it's got a boundary. Things that it's going to interact with. Okay, back over here again, I press P, and that's acting more like it. Now, if I press Shift D, I'm going to duplicate this object around and now you'll see I've got four cubes there. Because I've duplicated the original object, they all have the same features, all the same physics, collision, bounds, box, all that stuff, as the original object. Back over here, P. And they all interact with each other, which is just wonderful. But dropping cubes, mm, yeah, it's okay. But let's go through and add a UV sphere. So I press Shift A, I'm going to UV sphere, and now I've got a little sphere, a ball that is going to be inside this um, this thing as well. I just pull the arrow keys around to move it into the right place. I'm going to call it uh, Rigid Body Physics. Actors already been ticked for me. That's great. That was nice of it. Collision bounds. You can probably guess already. I'm going to go down here where it says box, and in there there's an object called sphere. Okay. If I press P for play, it's going to act like a ball. If I didn't press sphere, my objects fall down. I've just um, gone and changed that sphere to a box, and it just sits there like a box. Okay. You'll see down here I've got a number of options box, sphere, cylinder, cone. Okay. So if I've got three of these sort of things here, four of those things, that's great. But let's say I want to include Shift A. A thing like a monkey. Monkeys don't fit into any of those boxes. Okay, here's my monkey. Rotate it around, so there we go. And if I go through and go collision, oh, I better make sure it stays um, rigid body physics first. And it's a box, then when it falls to the ground, it just sits there. Mm, not very natural looking. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select convex hull. What this basically does, it takes the surface of the monkey and it'll roll around and land on its surfaces. Sort of natural like. Okay, good stuff. That's good so far. Okay, but having objects fall down and do nothing isn't the most exciting thing in the world. We want to give our objects here a little bit of freedom of movement so I can actually go through and make them do stuff. I'm going to clear some space, you know. If you're running full screen sort of blender, you're probably to yourself. I'm going down to see this little bit down here. I'm going to make this window down the bottom bigger. So I'm dragging that up. See the little clock down the bottom? I'm going to click there and go up to a place called Logic Editor. Radio. I'm going to drag this across. You'll see in here, 
I've got mesh 2, that's that monkey. I could call it monkey if I wanted to, but we don't need to right now. And I'm going to add this thing called a sensor into it. I'm going to basically say that when I use my keyboard and press a certain key, let's say A, I'm going to get my monkey to do stuff. Okay, let's see what happens. No, actually I'm not going to use the monkey. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to use this, this cube thing right here. It'll put, be more apparent later why that is. Keyboard. When I press the A key, my cube is going to do stuff. Okay. A key. Now see the controller here? I need an AND. Basically means that A is going to do something. And if I press A key, it will do something over here. I'm dragging my little bar across. By the way, here's a really cool key. Shift space bar. Shift space bar means the window that I was in just then blows up to full screen size. It's quite useful at times. Add actuator. Motion. Now, if I'm pressing the A key, I want my object, shift, enter, to go in the, the left sort of direction. See that Y thing there? Left is like that way. Which means X, Y, Z. I want it to go to the board's left, negative y direction, negative 0 0.01. Okay, oopsie, negative 0 0.1. Now, if I press P for play and I press my A key, ooh, I didn't, oh, I can see why I didn't do anything, I didn't link it together. Now, also, see this L thing here? I'm going to get rid of those. Uh, that's, um, I'll show you why soon. P for play, A key, and now my object is moving towards the left. Now, my other keys don't do a thing at the moment. We can fix that though. I want now to add some more motion. I want to go through and add a keyboard. Okay. And when I press the keyboard, it's going to do something, and it's going to create a motion. I'm going to press the D key to go towards the right. So here we go, link that up. Oh, by the way, see that? I can make those things go small and big. They're still there, I've just made them expand and shrink. I'll shrink that down. And when I press my D key, it's going to go towards the right, which is the Y plus direction. X, Y, Z. Oh, get those alpha locals. They're horrible things. Not that they're very useful, but I don't want them right now. 0 0.1. Enter. Now, if I press P for play, now I can go A towards the left and D towards the right. Okay. Pretty exciting stuff. What I can also do is add extra keys to go... Um, in the x direction, negative x direction, positive x direction, and that might well like be the w key. Whoopsie, don't press w key. Might be the w key and the s key, but up and down. I'm going to do that now. I'm going to pause this and come back to you in a second. And here we go, pausing. Right here. During that pause, I have gone through and I've created a couple of keyboards. Okay, w goes through and makes a negative 0.1 movement in the uh, X direction and S down here makes a positive 0.1 movement in that direction. Pressing P for play up here. I can now get my object to move left and right and up and down. Okay, now, what I see how my cube moves around, if I hadn't pressed my local button, it would be actually turning as my object turns around my X and Y's will be also changing as well. That's really useful if you've got a car, okay, but um, not very useful if um, if you just want it to go left and right. And here I am going left and right to shove my objects off the thing. Not a very exciting game at all, okay. Mildly entertaining, I'm assuming. Okay, that's it. Have an excellent time, okay, have a good play. Uh, try turning the um, the locals off and you'll find you can actually move it around like a car steering. As the block turns around, it'll steer in that direction. Excellent games available on the net. Have fun. See you around.